Hey everybody, it's Two Fat Guys on the Internet again. I'm Dan Pansig. With me again, as usual, is Tony Schultz. Yay, yay! And uh, today we've got a very special show. Wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself already. How could I forget to introduce our, our very, very important third leg, Robot X? Beep boop, beep blur, blip blip, blip fumbling, blip blur, blip blip blip. Robot, I've told you time and time again, we do not speak robot. I'm sorry. If you say so, I... big weeds. <laughs> oh, man. Son of a bitch, man. Come All right, the there's, there's, there's Robot X, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, tonight, today, whenever you're listening, we have a, a very special episode of Two Fat Guys on the Internet. It's we... special. Uh, tell them why, Tone. It's got stuff in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's got some things, too. Uh, first of all, uh, we are going to have a rap battle that's going to be later in the program. And then we are also going to have, uh, as far as I'm aware, the world's first pun off. <laughs> you ever drink this Ovaltine stuff? <laughs> Dude, I love Ovaltine. Ovaltine is effing great. I, you know, people say quick is better, and maybe they're right, but I, I fucking love Ovaltine, dude. Something tells me they threw a handful of motherfucking vitamins in there, because, dude, if I feel fortified. Put it I've, that way. I've, Very fortified. I would I would argue that they threw a handful of Vicodins in there, and that shit's just fucking addicting, dude. I could fucking, is. I could freebase the powder all fucking day. Yeah, and the straight vitamin D milk. Oh, my God. Man. Cold as balls. You're wow. pretty much you're pretty much a Super Saiyan after you fucking drink that shit, dude. I always felt like it was the most word that would sound good Irish, but it wasn't Irish. Like, I need some Ovaldine. <laughs> My name's Mickey Ovaltine. Yes, I'll be to the Ovaltine in the morning. <laughs> it just flows off in an Irish accent really well. Dude, Ovaltine, like Ovaltine milk in Lucky Charms for your ultimate Irish breakfast. Holy shit. Yeah, those are the sugar marshmallows. Woo. Yeah, man, that, that's got your fucking real vitamins in it. <laughs> <laughs> Are we boring you, dude? Are, are, you, we... are you sick, robot? Affirmative. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking curmudgeon. What a scam. Sick to Mundo. <laughs> well, uh, what a fucking card. Oh, you re Animal Farm, you read this book? I think it's coming to life, man. Good lord, not since maybe like grade school, junior oh, high? On the inner clicker, there's freaking people with these ears and noses and shit. All the time I see you, man. I haven't seen any pigs yet, but I'm starting to get co genuinely concerned. People with ears and nose. Everybody has ears and noses. Dude. Yeah, but they're different races. Or, uh, they're fucking. <laughs> they're fucking ears and no dogs and fucking bunnies. Are you, and shit. are you talking about furries, Tony? Is that what it's called? Are you talking about furries? Is that what it is? I'm pretty sure you're talking about furries. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show Tony, who apparently just found out about furries, more about furries. Because you know what, man. I I, I hate them. I hate them. Don't understand them. These are furries, Tony. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes, it goes all the way, dude. Here's some Nazi furries. Everybody's seen this picture it's before. Nazi furries. Nazi furries. Uh, gay furries. Fucking furries. That is a fox fucking a chicken, by the way. Uh, we are looking at a picture of a fox fucking a chicken. Is this a pa this is a pastime? This is a this is a pastime and a fetish, believe it or not. Ah. And I'm going to tell you an interesting fact about furries, Tony and the people at home listening. <laughs> and this is 100% true. Tiny Toons, the hit cartoon series from the 1990s, Tiny yeah. Toons Adventures, was canceled because a bunch of their fans, or at least one horrible psychotic fan, was sending them horribly graphic fucking furry fan art of the characters. You're shitting me. I am not shitting you at all. <laughs> that is the 100% truth. They fucking got that shit. They're like... Done. We're out. Fuck this. Holy shit. <laughs> so I hate them. <laughs> the more you fucking know. Furry facts with pantsing. I've spent too much time on the internet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Far too much time. <laughs> Clickums, clickums, and clickums. Uh... Click em and stick em. All right, all right. I got a game. You want to play a game? Yeah, let's play a game, dude. We <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude, 
I would absolutely fucking love to play that game that is, as far as I'm aware, the world's first pun <laughs> off. This is uh, the first inaugural Wheel of Puns. Wheel of Puns. Puns in space! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can do the gist. I have a wheel here, a randomizer on my phone. Yeah. And I have 30... Uh, I did a theme for this one. It's horror movie deaths. Oh, man. So I'll spin it. It'll tell me one way that you killed off the attacker that was coming after you. Okay. And then you supply the appropriate Or, or one way that I'm killed, maybe? Which which would you prefer? I mean, we I'll, I'll kick you. I'll, I'll decide that when I get out of it. When I get the when I get the spin. All right, so let me uh, sp- let me spin the wheel. Let's get her started. That was a whack spin. That was a whack spin. <laughs> let's let's give her there we go. Yeah. Let's put some mustard on her. <laughs> give it some pepper. <laughs> All right. So I'll I'll just set a quick scene for you. Go right ahead. And uh, so the killer's coming after you. You duck into a barn, an old barn. You're kind of hiding behind some hay. Okay. Uh, you look around. There's some farm implements. An old fucking scythe is in there. He comes around the corner. Whack! Head right off. Then your line. Heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Quality <laughs> entertainment provided by two fat guys coming around. <laughs> Wheel of puns. So we right. give this a spin and give then I get to spin, give you a turn. fucking situation. Yeah, let's do it the other way around. It's a whack spin. Whack that spin. There we are. Come on, something. So, I, uh, I mean, this this says death by fall. All right. So. so somebody's pushed you off a cliff. Somebody's pushed me off a cliff? <laughs> okay, all right. Or you're the killer, and you've pushed somebody off a cliff. How about that? And then you get to say a cool line. Okay, all right. All right, off a cliff, off a cliff, off a cliff. Off a cliff. I am falling off a cliff. Shit. <laughs> that I'm was gonna- me hitting the ground. I'm going to give you the point. <laughs> I don't believe I deserve it, but I will take it. You, you couldn't have said uh, you've met quite a rocky end. Oh, man. Uh, I, I went blank at the cliff, man. That threw me for a... Uh, dang. There I mean, it was, and there it is. You threw me for a loop. It, it was a loop to loop <laughs> Right. Oh, defenestration jokes, folks. And you couldn't even think of, like... See you next fall. Oh, oh boy. No, that's, a that's, a cl- that's a classic, dude. Come on. Man. Okay, okay. <laughs> There's a whole Batman movie worth of puns you could you could uh, reach from. In a, whole, this. a whole Batman this movie? This one is your frozen... Uh, you, okay, so the guy's coming after you. Fucking... You somehow get a hold of some liquid nitrogen. Dump. Fucking frozen as ice. I mean, apart from the obvious, everybody chill. <laughs> or ice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> or freeze, or any of that shit. I mean, God, of course, I, all I've got is Arnold in my head now because yeah. you fucking said the Batman. I was, I, movie. I was leaving the witness. How about you've been terminated? Because oh, that shit was in Terminator. It was too. in Terminator. That's. <laughs> I, I explained it, making it a lot more funny. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wheel of puns in space. <laughs> you want to do one more spin? Uh, yeah, I'll give her another spin. I want you to redeem yourself yeah, here, I dude. Yeah, I do need redeeming. I'm gonna auto spin that. What? Auto spin's awful too. Auto spin's pretty whack. Oh, come on. All right, so uh, you're you're let's let's say you're a murderer. Okay. You're a big bad killer guy. I'm the killer. You're a murdery dude, and you're and you're just like, uh, you have a huge sword, and you like just you're you're killing them with a slash and a stab, but the stab also goes like into the wall, so you're impaling them. Oh, okay. So you got a few things to work with there. Stick around. Wonderful. <laughs> I went a classic on that. That's I like a good it. one. I, uh, maybe you could have gone with like cut it out and then to stick around because you get a slash in there also I don't see any holes in your ears so I think I'll pierce your gut <laughs> <laughs> that's like an avant-garde pun <laughs> I'm national 
<laughs> All right. Well, that's uh, yeah. I'll give you the point. The stick point. around was good. Point to pun. Ting. <laughs> <laughs> So that's puns in space. That was, uh... We puns! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank God for post-production. <laughs> oh, I do, God. I, I was thinking the other day. That's you know dangerous. how, like... <laughs> right? Totally. You know, like, some bugs in nature are, like, real brightly colored and shit. To yes. Like, to look delicious, point. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, or snakes or whatever the fuck. It's got to be the same with, like, rat tails on people, right? Those little fucking <laughs> rat tail dudes. Well, yeah, I mean... Did you have heavy... I mean, I could be wrong, but every dude I ever met with a rat tail was kind of... They're a butthole. Yeah. There's no questions asked. It's, it's, you got a rat tail, you're kind of a dick. So I don't know, is that a conscious decision they do just to show you their ratness? Yeah, they're, 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 they're asserting their dominance in the world of fucking assholes. I, I kind of think it's like a bug that's brightly colored because it's poisonous. doesn't know it's brightly colored because of that. It just kind of is. I think. No, no, it's no, no. The, the, rat, the rat tail is the conscious fucking decision, it's gotta dude. Be, right? it's, that's, that's a sentient thought. That's a human being <laughs> choosing to give themselves the stupid but it's fucking haircut in the world. Yeah, it's gotta be, right? It's worse than the mullets. Uh, mullets can even be funny. <laughs> you could you could have you could end up with a Billy Ray Cyrus and have <laughs> and have a funny mullet. Yeah, it, sometimes it starts out funny. But the but the rat tail, I mean, Jedi's also have rat tails though. So yeah. there's that. Yeah, but isn't it more of a braid? Oh, they did have a little rat yeah, tail. Yeah, that's, well, it's a braided little rat tail, man. Well, fucking, that's fiction. It's a, well, but they're also cool. <laughs> 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 oh yeah in short fuck your rat tail <laughs> that's the moral handed out morals like candies <laughs> I got uh, I got a quick, a quick confession to make <laughs> the other day I, I felt I felt embarrassed and I always spoke I was uh, searching something on my phone <sighs> and uh, go, buddy, the I asked a question to the phone, and the, the voice came back at me, and I, I said, thank you, lady, and I, I, right in that moment, I felt the horror that was, I had just assumed her gender. I, I had no right to, I mean, I, feel free to write and call and shame me about this. I feel atonement is right at this time. I, <laughs> I, I come from a different time, people. It was like the late 70s, early 80s. I truly apologize to everyone involved. I just wanted to get that off my chest. So thank you all for listening. Wowie. <laughs> well, that I guess that was very brave of you, Tony. <laughs> Thanks. It took a lot. I, I, I'm still a little, little verklempt over here. Sure, sure. Well, you know, you, you'll you'll probably be forgiven. <laughs> I hope. Uh, I, I don't know, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm emotionally lazy. Right. Like one path or the other. Exactly. Um, That's about where I am in the wine bottle. You can go by the sound. Yeah, no, totally. So I guess that would be a good uh, good time to take an intermission then. Let's take a briz egg. All right. <laughs> This intermission was brought to you by Kratom. Kratom's fucking Kratom. You know it fucking is. You know it is. And now you know what fucking time it is. It is time for... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's it time for? Oh, shit. <laughs> what time is it? I'll tell you what fucking time it is. It's time for the last battle. Oh, yeah. It is absolutely that fucking time. So, we, uh, we asked our many, many legions of fans for suggestions, topics, whatever 
to wrap them up. <laughs> that's wonderful. Oh, I had to put another one on the end. It's I a good, it so it's, a, it's a good fucking stinger at the end there. <laughs> uh, so we, we asked all you nice people for, for topics, and we've got, again, another nice wheel of rap battle topics. Uh, we're going to put in some beats and... Uh, Fucking, uh, we're gonna rap about some stuff. It's gonna be interesting. I got some, uh, some free beats from the internet, and we're gonna see how they work out. So, should I spin the, see what's the first thing? Definitely spin the wheel, and we'll get the beat going here. So then what, we'll each take a quick turn rapping about whatever. Uh, this one's, uh, tomato, tomato, let's call the whole thing. Uh, I believe is let's wrap the whole thing off. All right, yeah, let's wrap the whole thing off. It's actually brought to my uncle Tommy. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so I'll take tomato, you'll take tomato? Tomato. All right. All right. All right. All right, yeah, that'll be my position. Then. Okay, cool. Here we go. First of all, I fucking hate tomatoes. I don't care how you say it, though. Tomato, tomato, it's the fucking same. They taste like shit, and it's fucking lame. But I say tomato because tomato is whack. Tomatoes suck, but tomatoes are whack. I don't give a fuck in the sack. Tony, take it. Do your shit, dog. Well, I can agree or disagree, but the fucking main point is tomato, you see. I don't think a tomato would grow alone. It needs a tomato and not alone all day. Times. I did the same thing twice, but it's alright because it sounded very nice sometimes with seeds, they're orange and red, and they're good right on your bread. Alright, dude. That was that was surprisingly good from both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Are we rappers? We are we're, we're rappers now. Oh uh, shit, should I spin the wheel? Yeah, spin it again. I will uh, put up another beat. Uh, we'll see how many of these we're gonna actually get through, but uh Fucking well, we'll do the thing. Yeah, man. just to do a few, maybe a couple later, or whatever. And it goes around and around and around. All right. Oh, excellent! I was hoping you would pick this one. This is from Alaz's daughter. This is unicorns and farts. All right. So we're just gonna rap about unicorns and farts. This yeah. is a, this is a versus no match versus. here. All right. Unicorns and farts like pop tarts. Sprinkles on the top, it's fucking art. Horn on my head, give me some head. Don't feed me bread, instead just give me unicorns and farts. Like a fine work of art, I said that part. I'm repeating myself and I don't fucking care. I see a unicorn here and a fart over there. Do they sparkle when they fart? Yeah. Do they sparkle when they fart? That's fucking yeah. clear. Yeah. That's fucking clear. The baby all over. They got hoofs and haunches, but they got a horn that makes them different, you see. Got a unicorn, you see. I like Miss Corn all the time, and you see. A sea of unicorns farting away. It's like glitter each and every motherfucking day. I'm gonna keep going on this fucking topic because Luz's daughter picked it and it's sick. <laughs> I love unicorns. They're so badass. I don't know. I don't got no sass. I'm running out of gas for these whack ass rhymes, but I just had to talk about this one more time. Take it, Tony. <laughs> That's what I see. It's like Rip Taylor when they rip to me. It going down in every way. Could confetti glitter every day. They got eyes and they sparkle. Oh, yeah. They Farkle. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's the rap battle, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just too impressed with our fucking actual mad rhyming skills to even want to continue any further. We're going to do this a volume two. We're gonna do a vol we're gonna do the volume two probably in another upcoming episode. But I uh, I understand that Tony's just got a lot of shit to talk about anyway. Oh ah uh, things yeah oh dude all right talk about versus shit who would win Mr Clean versus the brawny motherfucker. Uh, I gotta say the brawny guy because he's like fucking huge right he's Paul Bunyan size. Yeah but isn't fucking. Uh, Mr. Clean like a genie or some shit? I mean, that's got to give you some kind of power. He does possess magical qualities. He just appears anywhere that somebody's using Mr. Clean, which is fucking impressive. Yeah. However, Brawny Guy is a giant with an axe. All right. I feel if he could summon up some Mr. Clean cleaner... I think he could use that as an uh, attacking device. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I, shoot it towards your mouth. Or... 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, if the plan, if the plan is to poison the brawny guy. <laughs> maybe he'd be more devious. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, maybe his, his magical qualities, maybe he's like a Q from Star Trek, and fucking, he's just like a mischievous fucking cleaning space genie, who also enjoys poisoning people. <laughs> Oh, got to love the poison. Nice shirt. I know, man. Yeah, Mr. Clean, man. He's got the, those fucking eyebrows. That you don't know what he's thinking. I don't know. He has eyebrows? I thought he didn't have eyebrows. Or his lack of eyebrows. He's like whatever. super bald, man. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'd have to be staring at it. I always assumed eyebrows. Damn, I am assuming shit about people <laughs> these days. I really thought uh, <laughs> Mr. Clean was was a Nazi, honestly. Oh, well, if that's the case, then go brawny, you know? <laughs> He's a he dude's got muscles. Ain't knowing that Marge was all in. That's true. Well, no, he that was that was the burly guy, Chad oh, yeah. Chad Sexington. Oh, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna say Mr. Clean anyway. I don't care if he's a Nazi. <laughs> I actually care deeply. He cares deeply. It says a little Nazi anti-Nazi prayer before sleep. It's true. It's very <laughs> true. I say. <laughs> I can't continue this. <laughs> the, oh, dude! Remember what I heard? I heard the word "be shitting" the other day, and I feel that that has been not in our vocabulary quite nearly enough these days. Be shitting. Yeah, and these LOL times. I think we should go back to you know, fucking say some words. <laughs> be shit some fucking things. We should go back to the era where we used words to communicate. You're definitely right on that. Uh, be shitting means what I assume it means, I'm I guessing. I, you know what? I took a note. I didn't uh, write it from the dictionary. Well, you know, if but, only we had if a the, way to oh, access dude. the world's information at the touch of a button. That's right. We're not only fat, we are also on the internet. That's very, very true. We are the internet. I may have just be shitted a word. I didn't really understand. <laughs> you be shitting me? I, I couldn't stop using it, though, once I... Uh, <laughs> Once it's in my vernacular. Well, be shit is definitely a word. Uh, usually vulgar to soil someone or something oh, so with ex excrement. Exactly what I thought. <laughs> yeah. So if you be shit something, you're just smearing your poopies all over it. So yeah, that's, that sounds about right. <laughs> Breaking right. news. Be shitting means exactly what you think it means. The definition of the day, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You gotta, you gotta be shitting me. That's part of the wheel, wheel of puns. A little, little late entry there. <laughs> oh, be shitting man. Get off my lawn! Oh, where'd you come from? Robot. God damn it! I forgot he was here. <laughs> Negative. If you say so, big weeds. <laughs> Fucking little bastard, man. Do you have anything to uh, contribute? Or do you want to fill in any time here? You got anything to say? I shall now recite for you an ancient robot poem. Los locos kick your ass. Los locos kick your face. Los locos kick your balls into outer space. Ro robot. That's not an ancient robot poem. That's from the movie Short Circuit 2. It's from the movie Short Circuit 2, which is a... <laughs> Johnny Five, I believe. Gone with the Wind needs more robots. The Godfather needs more robots. Short Circuit, great film. I can't disagree. Uh, yeah, you know what? Like, Gone with the Wind definitely fucking needs more robots. There's definitely not enough robots in there. Good lord. Holy shit. Praise Robot Jesus. I am rolling my ocular sensors as hard as I possibly can right now. I can, I can feel it. Exact mundo. Robot X, you fucking scamp ya. Yeah, he just, uh... Robot X cares not for your mortal concerns. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. I, I mean, you're gonna stay in my band, though, right? Affirmative. Good, good. good. <laughs> oh, man. So... Calling people douchebags, as satisfying and as awesome as it is, mm -hmm. I mean, isn't a douchebag a good thing in general? Like, not isn't a, it helping? Not a good thing to be. I guess. <laughs> I, I, I'm conf I guess, yeah. Once. All things considered, yes, a douchebag in and of itself is a fine product, you know, for, for its use. <laughs> 
Uh, we are absolutely mature. Uh, but but being a douchebag, imagine being a sentient douchebag. You're yourself, but you're just a douchebag. <laughs> and you are a douchebag anyway. But, yeah. oh, God. It wouldn't be an enema, like, worse, though? Like, wouldn't that be like, dude, you're a total enema bag. Dude. Wouldn't that make more sense? Dude, let's let's, let's fucking, let's bring it. that into popularity, oh, man. Oh, you oh, fucking oh. enema bag. What are you, a fucking <laughs> enema bag? This just it. <laughs> fucking douchebag is over with. It is now enema bag for the insult of the day. That's right. <laughs> you fucking enema bags. <laughs> what are you, what are you, a fucking animal bag over here? <laughs> you fucking animal bag, whoa. I tell you, I tell you, you're a real fucking animal bag. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I am totally going to take that for a spin these next few months. Fucking absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to commit, dude, I swear. It's got to be, bring it back. Actually, don't bring it back, bring it forward. That's It's not even to be brought back. Yeah. No, see, someone said it. I, I'm sure I didn't come up with it, that's for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, you did not come up with the enema bag. It's <laughs> very true. I would well, be in a much better financial yeah, you'd position. Be, you'd be a fucking Brazilianaire, man. Oh, uh, yeah, we'd be fucking recording in somewhere else. We'd be recording <laughs> somewhere besides in my dad's house. <laughs> <laughs> we would have better white wine. Uh, that's arguable. Mm. All right. We're down to here on bottle one. Two, two. Well, uh, I mean, uh, awkward pauses, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, hold on. That's, that's how it is. It's getting, hard, it's getting hard out here in the streets, people. <laughs> it is uh, being a gangster. I have programmed myself to be prepared at all times. Yeah, we weren't asking your fucking opinion. <laughs> no, if you're so prepared, fucking give us something, man. Yeah, why'd you give us fucking cyberworms the other day anyway? Oh, we God, would have fucking had fucking this shit out Monday. Son of a bitch. But, you know, the important thing is that we are here, and we got it done, and, uh... Great story. God, <laughs> fucking... He's got no patience. You know what, robot man? Robot man. <laughs> You're not a man. You are a robot. And, uh, God, God, God help me. Help my fucking... Humans are just the worst. <laughs> you know, I was, I was about to compliment you. I was, I was on the cusp of a compliment. Oh, man. Son of a bitch. Now I'm not, now you're not gonna get it. Two fat guys on the internet. More like two dopey humans whom if I could smell would surely offend my olfactory senses. You... You are absolutely correct. Yeah. I can't argue. He His logic is infallible. Yeah, it is. Math is my peanut butter, but logic is my jam. Oh, son of a... <laughs> He's so got one for everything. I can't fucking believe it. Uh, for a self-programmed son of a bitch, you're a real fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you should, your shit's real, robot. Oh my god. Exact mundo. Mm. <laughs> you. I feel that feelings are overrated by an infinite number. Plus two. <laughs> are you sure math is your peanut butter? <laughs> beep boop. Beep blur. Blip blip. Blip blumbling. Blip blur. Blip blip bleep. Dude, if I ever meet another robot, I'm gonna ask him what that fucking means, and you're gonna be in trouble. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? According um. to my calculations. It was me, Robot X. Wow, that's some ego, man. Sassy son of a bitch. Dude. <laughs> if you say so, dickweeds. Oh. God damn it, with the dickweed. Yeah. You're a fucking enema bag, robot. How about that? Oh. Negative. Fucking mm. enema bag. Just a bag full of shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen. I think, yeah, that'll do her. I believe that is what we would call an episode. So, uh, until next time, we were two fat guys on the internet, and we are two fat guys on the internet, and we'll probably always be two fat guys on, on the, the internet. internet. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>